Bob with Record Realty, and it's time for another Record Roundup. We're on a bit of a break for the last several weeks. Just got busy and selling houses and all that good stuff, but I wanted to get together with you again and talk about one of the best albums that's ever been released, and that is ACDC's Back in Black. This album was huge when I was growing up. When I was in junior high school, we had a, a jukebox in the cafeteria, and every day, the title track, Back in Black, would play. Every day. From 7th grade, 8th grade, and ninth grade. Our high school was the Permian Panthers, and we were black and white. So this was a pretty big album to almost everybody that went to uh, Permian in the 1980s, as I did. Uh, this album was released in July of 1980, following the death of the original lead singer, Bon Scott, and you may have heard me talk about Bon before. He's probably my favorite frontman of all of rock and roll. He and Mick Jagger pretty much reinvented the frontman stature as it is. The new frontman uh, for this album was Brian Johnson. He took over from Bon, who died in February. It's kind of a tribute to Bon Scott. The black cover was chosen as a as an album of mourning uh, in in tribute to Bon. This album sold like crazy. It, the last data of 2021, it had sold over 50 million copies. That's crazy numbers. The album received a widespread acclaim from critics and often considered one of the greatest rock albums ever made. Classic Tracks, this album features many of ACDC's most famous songs, including You Shook Me All Night Long, Hell's Bells, and the title track, Back in Black. The album was produced by John Mutt Lang. You might know him from Def Leppard. He was formerly married to Shania Twain until he started having an affair with her best friend, which we don't want to get into. But how do you do that with Shania? But anyway, they worked together on a previous album called Highway to Hell, and he uh, produced the absolute hell out of this album. The album's music style is characterized by powerful riffs, blues, pentatonic solos from Angus. It's just crazy, crazy good music. Back in Black has left a last, lasting impact on the rock genre and is also cited as a significant influence to many rock musicians. It's also been inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame. Again, we played this album so many times uh, in my past, and I still play it to this day, and it's one of the best albums I've ever heard in my life. So, check it out if you want to. If I can play an ACDC riff to send us away. <laughs> Y'all have a good week.